So think about how we uh, how we go through life, right? If one of your friends says, "Hey, I'm leaving my job. I'm going to go start a company." What's what's the first thing you ask? What are you doing, right? It's Uber for I don't know Uber for kittens. So it's like okay, well it's it's my idea, right? We love our ideas. In fact, think of how often I don't know in high school or in your first job, you're like oh, I spent all weekend, you know, uh, working on my project, and I'm going to come and I'm going to present it, and then somebody pokes a hole in your idea. What do you do? You get all defensive on your idea, but no, but no, you get emotionally attached, right? And so I like to remind people, you are not your idea. I promise you, you're not, right? We have this we have this concept at Forward, which is that we love to beat up ideas. And some people get really uncomfortable with that. They're like, what do you mean you're beating up my idea? Sometimes people come in, uh, we have a meeting type called a jam where we where we work through problems and uh, and we attack ideas. We attack them. And and people are like, don't attack my idea, you're attacking me. I'm like, no, I'm not attacking you. I'm attacking the idea. I mean, it makes people really uncomfortable sometimes because we are so trained to believe that ideas matter more than problems. And it's like, no, no, no. So if you go around forward and you ask people, what is forward? Nobody is going to say forward builds doctor's offices. In fact, we don't. That's not, that's not what we do. We get healthcare to billions of people. Why? Well, it turns out problems tend not to change and solutions change all the time. And you know this because whatever solution you ship, you're going to ship it. You're going to go look at it and you're going to be like, okay, this is what I learned. I've got some new data. Now let's ship a new version, a new version, a new version. That's called iteration. So by definition, whatever idea you have, let's just agree it's crap. You just don't know why it's crap yet, right? And so we just took the stance from day one, which is like, let's focus on the problems, not on the solutions. So forward's goal, our goal is really simple. We want to get healthcare to billions of people. Now, what do we do today? We build doctor's offices and we put doctors in them. Well, you know that healthcare for a billion people doesn't have doctor's offices and doesn't have doctors in it. Our whole goal is to build the world's most scalable healthcare, and we haven't yet figured out how to do it. But we're working along the path to doing so. It's a little like when Elon comes out and says, I'm going to solve climate change. Here's a $140,000 sports car. It's like, well, hold on. What are you doing? It's like, it's okay. That's his Model S. One day he's going to figure out his Model 3. And you know what? The Model 3 isn't going to get, isn't going to solve climate change. One day he's going to figure out the Model 1. He just hasn't done it yet, right? And this is okay. It is you should attach yourself to problems, not solutions. But this is really hard for us because we really like to attach ourselves to well-understood concepts. But at Ford, we take a very different stance. We always try to understand what is the problem, and we try to more intimately understand the problem than the solution.